Hey y'all, so this is an apology video because I remember a couple of months ago when Gypsy Rose reached out to me and you guys were so upset that I spoke with her and I couldn't understand why y'all were so mad at me and why the comments were so enraged but after seeing what has happened, I understand now and I get that y'all were trying to look out for me and you guys didn't want anything like what's happening now to other people to happen to me. That is absolutely, in every capacity, completely wrong and very narcissistic to say, well, you guys just cared about me and loved me so much that you were just looking out for me and you just wanted, no, what we didn't like was the fact that creators like me, I had a five year TikTok account where I was exposing her lies way before Lifetime even started paying her for reality shows before people actually knew who she was. Small creators like me that are in the true crime community have been exposing her lies and contradictions since she started talking on the stand and in interviews on Dr. Phil. And I had an entire five year account taken from me with all of the content and I had to start over last fall. Okay, so before she was even released on December 28th of 2023, people like me have been exposing her lies. And then all of a sudden, here comes December, January, February, March. People like Nina get on there and start riding that train. Okay, you know how much shit I got for being anti-gypsy? I'm not anti-gypsy. I was just exposing the lies and the contradiction and poking holes in her narrative to give other people the ability to see the truth that this person is not honest they are not being truthful that this person is dangerous they should not be out in society this person is not telling the truth about what happened and that is a slap in the face to us that somebody else that's a beauty influencer comes along and then just all of a sudden starts acting like she's doing our work like you know how much time and hours that we put into doing the the videos that we do the content and for it to, to have gypsy's team literally take an account from me because they didn't like the fact that i had an foia for the text messages and other evidence in, including crime scene photos and i shared it i have even gotten a strike on my youtube channel for this now you're talking years of work not just since this year when everybody got on this gypsy rose for clout and attention train and that's why people are upset because we're not paid our dues for the hard work that we're we're doing we're not getting the views and the clicks because we're not lying and we're not creating false drama for monetization and for revenue we're not over here creating fake sources so we can get a paycheck we're just genuinely trying to bring an honest truth to people so they can be aware because the best thing to combat ignorance so people like narcissists and sociopaths and manipulators cannot hurt people is education and awareness and that's the whole point not i'm not even monetized and i've had my youtube channel for almost a year now and my tiktok my older tiktok got taken from me five years worth of stuff on there this is my tiktok account that i'm currently on now this is my second one because my last five year one was taken. well i had it for just shy literally four years and 11 months just shy of having it for five years was taken they tried to get me on a community guidelines for violence because of the crime scene photo video that i did four plus years ago i have been exposing the lies and contradictions since before december before she was released This is my YouTube because, yes, I had stage three cervical cancer. I was born with a genetic connective tissue disease called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I have type 1, type 2, I have fibromyalgia and MS. So I talk about that a lot as well. But go back to the beginning of the third week of May of 2024. I confirmed her pregnancy almost an entire two months before Nina ever did. And back on New Year's Day of this year, this is what I was told, even though I got so many threats from people that are gypsy stands. I was the first person to literally bring this up. And if you guys would have seen my old account, if I could have gotten that back, I tried. I fought for it. I, I fought for it for over a year to get that back. They would never give it back to me.
but if you would have seen all the content and all the video clips and everything I had on there of Gypsy saying one thing and then saying another, saying one thing, saying another, and I had everything, every interview or magazine interview, any kind of publishing that she had did before the unaliving, after the unaliving, during her prison stay, all the way up to her release and then after. I had all of that, the doctor, the two different Dr. Phil interviews that she did while she was in prison, as well as everything else. But am I getting the monetization that Nina and other people are? No, they jump on what me and just a few others had been talking about for years, years, and all of a sudden they get the clout. But it's not about the clout, not for us. It's about the truth. Because I'm not going to sit here and lie and try to befriend crazy murderers and people who want to live their mom or people that are very not mentally and emotionally sound and stable that are victims or potential victims of something in their past. Because you can't objectively look at a case in true crime and the true crime community if you're going to be emotionally invested in, in stuff like that. But that's that's not what I'm getting at here. <laughs> What I'm getting at is people are upset because this is the kind of content creator that Flawless Nina really is. And these are the kinds of things that she really says about people. And it's not about people wanting to look after her emotional and mental health so much that they didn't want her to be manipulated. No, you got it all wrong. It's the fact that you're as disgusting as the people you sit there and talk shit about and judge and make content and make money making content about especially when you stoop to the level of saying something like this. So your apology that is very self-absorbed and psychological egoism all about me, 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 everybody is only concerned about me, 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 me. No, people are upset at the words you said about another Munchausen by proxy victim just because as a grown woman she decided to flip-flop her story. Even if she did say that, that you were a liar and said that you were stirring the pot, have you seen the messages that you exposed? You kind of were stirring the pot with her, but that doesn't make it okay to then say what you said. That's like saying Gypsy unalived her mom because she was a victim, so if I feel like a victim, I should be allowed to unalive my mom, right? You can't base your choices and actions off of somebody else's just because everybody feels like it's injustice that she got away with first degree premeditated murder. And in the state of Missouri, she qualified for the death penalty. It's literally this. And Flawless Nina has failed in her fake apology video to address the fact that she is sorry for saying the things that she said about Adaptive Kate. The girl that, what she, from what she says, is a Munchausen by proxy victim, so was her sister, and that her mom convinced a medical doctor to amputate a healthy leg. She now, and for the last three years, has been exposing her story on TikTok. What? If people aren't upset with you because they were trying to protect you. They're upset with you over what you said. So, here it goes. Yes, me and Gypsy Rose are friends. In my book, she's dead to me. Yes. <laughs> if she was in front of me on fire, I wouldn't even piss off. Worry about the fact that she put a pew pew to her head in front of her oh God. house with her child in there. That's oh what Lord. she needs to worry about. So if oh you want to go dirty, let's go there. Nina, Talk you about that. Right. And if anything, the fact that she's doing that and she's going through a custody issue right now, that should tell them everything they need to know. I don't know that, though. You know that. That tells me everything I need to know about you as a mother. She could pass tomorrow. I wouldn't even flinch. If she like, came out. Like, when I say you're dead to me, I had a funeral from you in my head yesterday. If she was in front of me on fire, I wouldn't even piss on her. She could be boohoo and crying on the internet because Gypsy ran over her with a car. I won't care. That's her problem. So, I don't dislike Flawless Nina, but... She's got the biggest motive and incentive to really get into this drama and to create fake drama and to lie to subscribers selfishly for her own monetization and her own revenue. But that's not okay, speaking like that. If she was to say, sorry, yeah, Nina is worthy of forgiveness. But that's dirty. If somebody would do that, imagine what else they will do 
to keep a roof over their own head and to keep food in their own mouth. Food for thought. Think about it. 